In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts from the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Alright guys, so in today's video I'm talking with you about my Bunch Tight End Offensive Guide. If you have not already got the Bunch Tight End Offensive Guide, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description for you to be able to pick that up. That guide is just 15 bucks. but what we're going to do is we're going to share with you today how I like to go about beating Mabel coverage in Madden 21, specifically um, with the very interesting little motion over concept that you can use from the Bunch Tight End. Now again, if you want to get the full ebook on the Bunch Tight End, there's going to be a link in the description for you to be able to get that but the play we're going to be going over today is inside switch um, as you can see it right here and again this is just a very simple little concept but basically what we're going to do here is we are going to streak our x receiver which is our tight end and then what I personally like to do is I like to take the triangle receiver and just simply uh, either leave him on that route or put him on a hitch you can do either one of those things but that's literally the only adjustments that we're going to make and then what we're going to do is we're going to motion that square receiver all the way to the to the sideline. And right before he sets his feet, we're just going to snap the ball real quick. And you're going to see that you're going to have a nice little quick read right outside of that square receiver. It's one of the most consistent and underrated reads from the bunch tight end. In my opinion, if you want to learn what I believe to be one of the most effective offenses in this game, this is a phenomenal place to start. If you're just getting started in the game and you don't really know what to do offensively or you don't know what to do defensively, um, I would recommend you start with this offense. And the reason why is because it is so simple. You really only have to master maybe one or two play concepts for you to be able to be very effective with this. If you can master this concept um, in combination with a couple of other, uh, other concepts from this offense, you are going to literally be unstoppable. As you can see here, I'm calling a cover three. Uh, Mabel coverage with a five yard uh, flat zone and a 25 yard zone and what you're going to see is that that if they you know if you don't get the motion snap like if he stops moving that is a little bit of an issue especially for the 25 yard curl flat zones but if you get the motion snap where you can basically again it's just a timing thing but essentially you're just going to snap it while he's on the move you're going to see right there it is almost impossible the beauty of this is essentially what you're able to do from bunch tight end this is one of the unique things about bunch tight end that gun bunch does not allow you to do is that you can actually run this concept on both sides of the field so um, there's another play in this in this uh, gun bunch tight end called mesh which you can run on the other side and then you can run this one on the back side which is really really cool because you now have the ability to be able to beat you know pretty much anything the defense is going to bring your way you'll see right here if they play those underneath hard flats on camp cover two you're going to have a nice little easy way to be able to beat it now if they run uh, i haven't talked a lot about the other concepts on this play uh, i do want to briefly spend a second here on this um, on this little quick flat to the running back. If you see me in coverage, because you're overloading them so much, you can oftentimes hit this running back route to the outside. As soon as he cuts to that sideline, you can pretty much hit that for typically a very consistent gain. Man coverage does do this a little bit. I mean, it, it does uh, give this a little bit of trouble. You'll see here that the square route um, doesn't get as open, unfortunately. Now, if you had a route tech there, for example, like if I had Devontae Adams in that position, I might have a little bit more success success against man-to-man -man coverage because i have just kind of a standard receiver going up against a pretty good corner um, normally that corner is going to win but as you see right there we're able to beat man coverage to the sideline it's just a matter of route running in mutt because you're going to have players that are a little bit more you're just going to have better route running all across your board that's going to help you a ton you're going to be able to be um, a little bit more consistent against this uh, but you'll see here i mean this is what i'm talking about with that running back route because of the leverage that he's going to be able to create for himself he is oftentimes going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage as well. And then lastly, the other route that you have, which, um, you know, especially if you have like a route tech or you have someone that's had good route running, but this little hitch right here is actually typically very effective against man. Because of the fact of the motion, they're going to shuffle. They're going to have to do some things. They're going to have to move. They're going to have to adjust to be able to stop this. And the beauty of this is you just have all of this in one play. You see the motion moves people, and then you're able to work one-on-one. -on -one. 
get that little hitch going um, right there where they were able to stop us. But this is a powerful, powerful passing concept. Now, one last thing I did want to hit on. A lot of people have asked me, how in the world do you go about beating the Mike Blitz 3? Like, it is the best defense of all time, and I agree with you. The nickel 3-3-5 through five wide is the best defense of the game. It's why I wrote an entire guide on that. But um, what you want to do, if they're running something like that little um, – Cover three Mabel with the yellow on the tight inside. You see that this triangle receiver is going to sit right underneath it. And as you can see, you're going to be able to get off and run, uh, you know, run for several yards. So that's the beauty of the bunch tight end. The bunch tight end is one of the most unique offenses. It's also one of the offenses that you can master in the least amount of time. I call it the 80-20 offense, which means it gives you the top 20% of the plays in the entire game of Madden 21. Um, and you don't have to, you know, you don't have to, you know, kind of go through that. They've simplified it down to about five to six plays. And if you want to get my complete gun bunch tight in offensive guide it is available for just 15 bucks and i guarantee you if you get this offense you will see a massive massive difference in how you play offense in madden 21 you're going to find that you can actually dominate madden 21 whether it be uh, a beginner player or an elite player this offensive guide is going to teach you how to dominate by using a simplified offense an offense of about six to ten plays that can really carve up your opponent the beauty of it is most of them all look exactly the same and so your opponent's never going to know what's coming at them so i want to thank you for watching this video and like i said if you want to get my bunch tight end offensive guide it is available in the description for just 15 bucks